Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name's Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and tonight I'm going to be decorating some cookies. So because you've got two lives tonight so you're being completely spoiled um, and I need to be off the platform by quarter to eight so that they can get ready to do their their big reveal. So I'm here now until roughly, um, what time is it now? Half six, so about an hour and... Yeah, about an hour and 15 minutes. So I decided uh, doing a cake in an hour and 15 minutes is quite ambitious. So we're going for cookie decorating tonight. So we're gonna have a look at uh, lots of the ideas that I've got. I do show cookie decorating on another channel um, at the weekend. So I've got some new and different ideas for you today. I've also got a nice little offer for you as well. For anybody who would like to buy any of the um, cake topper sheets tonight, we've got a 10% offer on that's gonna go on until Monday. Um, that's Monday the 14th, of which you'll need to use the code cake topper. But I will remind you about that as we go along. So uh, in case you're getting confused. Now, I am not alone. I have got Kelly here. Hi. So Kelly has just arrived from her her new job. Woo, got a new job. <laughs> She's got a new job. Yeah, Kelly's just arrived, so um, I haven't seen her all day, have I? No. No. So yeah, we will we'll get acquainted shortly, Kelly. Um, so Kelly is here on comments tonight, everyone. So um, if you have any questions, then do please let me know. Um, just a reminder for anybody who is joining my How to Price Cakes class tomorrow night, um, which is available. I'm going to put my cake school address up because you need to go to the cake school if you want to book this. So if you would like to learn how to price cakes, then tomorrow at 6.30, I have got a class. It's live on Facebook um, and it costs £10 to join it. Now, if you do want to join it, um, you will need to go to the Kate School to sign up and then we're going to send you an invite for you to um, join in. What I need to remind the ones that have already signed up is I need you to activate the link that I've sent you and I need you to ask um, to join the group because otherwise you're going to miss the live. Now if you miss it you can watch it back anyway um, but once the class starts at 6.30 I won't be able to um, activate any more links so it's really really important if you are joining me tomorrow evening for how to price your cakes um, then you have activated the email that I've sent you already so please make sure you have done that um, and then I will approve you to join into the group. Obviously if you do it while I'm live I can't do that so it'll be tomorrow now if you do um, sign up for it I'll send you a link tomorrow but as long as you've done it and you don't sign in at 6 30 because otherwise you're going to miss it so um, very important to get organized for that class tomorrow and if you've got absolutely no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> um, then we have got a class tomorrow live on Facebook uh, which is called how to price my cakes or how to price your cakes not my cakes your cakes and it's all about how to work out how to price your cakes how to deal with customers because that's a very important skill and also to try and um, look after your time and just make sure that you're not doing what Kelly and I always laugh about don't we oh this week we're working for 2p an hour yeah, really. <laughs> making sure that you are um, working for a reasonable amount of money um, while you're doing your cake so lots of hints and tips there about working time efficiently I guess is the answer for that one there so that class is tomorrow night uh, Kelly's put a link up there you go um, and we will be no, we we or be me. Oh, it doesn't exist because I've actually written my name underneath. I was it thinking, well. what have you done? Um, so it will be me tomorrow I don't know evening. Why I keep saying my name is Kelly Mann. <laughs> Um, who knows what Kelly's doing? Anyway, um, I will be live tomorrow evening on that site, going live about quarter past six. So it's a closed Facebook group. I won't be live on here, so don't get confused. Um, I will be live on my How to Price Cakes page um, from quarter past six. The lesson will start at 6.30. And if you are joining me, all you're going to need is literally a pen, a paper and a calculator, just so that if you want to join in, you can. If you don't want to join in, you can just literally sit back and watch. And there are four or five sheets that I've made, um, which are going to be available later today, hopefully, um, that you'll be able to download onto your computer or you'll be able to just print them off um, and use them as references for to try and help you price your cakes. Now, this is not um, this is not sheets and sheets of this is how much all the cakes are it's about the theory behind it and how you're going to do it so you are going to need to do some work afterwards um, but I've worked it all out for you because if I do every single cake honestly it will take 
so long and you might not learn anything so I want you to learn how to do it so that you can then apply it to your cakes at a later date so that's it so tomorrow night how to price your cakes and that applies to anybody so not just the people that are in business but the people that are making cakes for friends and family as well it's very very important that you know how much you are spending to make your cakes even if you're not charging or if someone says to you oh I'll just pay you the ingredients you do need to know how much those ingredients are it's really really important so that is what is happening tomorrow and there you go it's on the site now can you purchase the cast at a later time yes once we've finished once we've done the live it will just become available now which oh, yeah. means that you will be able it's kelly messing about over there <laughs> it means that you will then be able to um watch the class in your own time so once the live has taken place which will be tomorrow night it will remain available for anybody to buy at any point and you can then go back and watch it as and when you want to so that's the answer to that yes you can book it later on um, if you haven't received your email, Mary, I've done yours because I've seen it. Check your spam. <laughs> if you haven't received your email or it's not in your spam, even though I know I did it, uh, that's fine. Um, just let me know. But please just email me because if the comments when we're live are going through continuously and my memory is like a sieve. So if you want to contact me, please email me. Please do not WhatsApp me. Please do not send me messages on Messenger please send them all via email because then it helps me to find all the emails in one place otherwise there's just stuff everywhere and I'm getting very confused which believe you me is not very difficult to do. <laughs> Kelly's shaking her head because she agrees with that one. Right so what we're going to do this evening is we're going to do some cookie decorating so for um, the people let's take this down so the people that uh, know of me or know what I do um, I teach lots of cake painting I also teach royal icing and then during teaching royal icing at the beginning of this year I suddenly worked out that I quite liked designing cookie cutters and so that's where it's going at the moment and I've been designing lots and lots of cookie cutters I'm going to show you tonight some decorating so we're going to make quite a few and then what we're going to do is my daughter Charlotte works for um now she works for uh, Watford uh, NHS. Watch for, I was trying to think of the word. That's awful. What Watford NHS, and she's going to be taking all the biscuits in there, so they will be getting all our efforts. No, you're not. We can have one, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had pudding. No, I know you Everyone, haven't. I haven't had pudding. She hasn't had pudding. She's just coming from childlike. work. <laughs> So we're going to do lots and lots of biscuits, lots of ideas, some of which you've seen before. For those of you, I've got some brand new sheets as well that are basically tonight is the first time you will have seen them. So if you want to get any, um, if you want to get 10% off the cake toppers so this is the cake topper part only and I'll point that out as we go along tonight if you go to my website all you'll need to do is put in the word cake topper in the discount code it's very important you use that code because I can assure you if you don't put that code in you'll have to go back and do it all again because I will not be getting my calculator out so um, if you make a mistake we'll refund the whole lot and you have to go back to the start and do it again so um, this is cake toppers which is our printed sheets so we have lots and lots of those sheets and I will be pointing them out as we go through so that you understand exactly what it is that's going on okay right I've got a list here there and everywhere of all the things that I'm planning to do so we let's get started because before you know it I'm going to be chucked off aren't I <laughs> well not chucked off but um, there are other things to do this evening so I've got this big list over here of all the things I need to do so we're going to start off with some sugar paste covering we're going to do a little bit of, of um bits and pieces so we've got some that are going to be sugar paste some that are going to be royal icing so kind of stay tuned because we're going to be keeping changing what we're going to be doing I know Gillian's on Gillian is our cookie queen I spotted her name coming up so I'm expecting glorious things from Gillian after this <laughs> right okay let's go to the other camera there we go right so we have got this one here first now this one is called um this is my travel cup one i got a bit carried away with this one um when i came up with it and now it's out it is our most popular cutter it's outsold everything else it is so so popular and i think it's because it's so um what's the word um versatile i think that's the word i was looking for um so that's what we've um come up with which is this one here and that's what we're going to show you tonight yes are we having a technical problem? We well, need. To... My screen's not working at all. Can anybody see us? Can we just double check to see if anybody can I don't actually know if it's see my us? My Facebook or might be Kelly. No, they're still talking. How? Okay. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay. We'll keep going and see what's happening. Yeah, carry on. Maybe it's just my Facebook. It just says, sorry, we're having trouble with playing the video. Okay, well, we'll keep going and at the moment, see what's none happening. None of the comments are coming through. All I have is, oh, I do love cookies, is my last comment. Yeah, that's the only one I've got at the moment. Let me come back on screen for the moment. I think we might have a technical problem. Let's see what's happening. Oh, Donna oh, says no. she can see you. No, we're back on again now. I, hmm. I don't know what it's doing. Apologies for that. Yay! Okay, no, okay they can all it's see Kelly. You. <laughs> I, I can't see you, so... Um... Okay, right, it's just Kelly. I don't know why. Okay, right. So what we're going to do are now I have already made up some royal icing. So I've made up some royal icing using Carol's whipping it up. And we all know what whipping it up is. Let me bring this in in case you don't know. This is whipping it up. So this is Carol's icing sugar that contains the egg white. So all you need to do is just add water to it and then you can create some royal icing. So this is a 500 gram pack and all I've done is add 70 grams of water and I've whipped it with an electric whisk, which is what I did a couple of days ago. And I've got it stored in a glass container like this which has got a, a lid on it now this is um because this is called velvet vanilla when you make it it is actually white and then it goes this sort of yellowy color which you can see here can you see it's gone a little bit sort of on the yellow side but that's okay that's fine if you want it to remain white though you will need to put in some white coloring so white gel or uh, super white or one of those things to turn it back to white it actually doesn't matter to me because I'm dying it anyway to be honest so I'm not too worried about it so this can keep in a container at room temperature for approximately two to three weeks with no problem at all but you can see me just giving it a little bit of a, a, a move around because what I find with whipping it up is it tends to settle and it becomes I think I described the texture as a little bit spongy but if you whip it or we'll go back again it soon picks itself back up again and starts to hold its shape and if it doesn't then we'll get our electric whisk out and we'll go a step further so what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to make some glue for our cookies so I'm just going to take some of this pop it in there don't need very much that'll do to start with no I've got that I know I'm organised, Kelly, don't faint. Good, I can sit there. I can stay sad. <laughs> I thought you would be tired, you see. I'm so tired. Now, I'm just going to put a few um, teaspoons of water in here. So what we're doing now at the moment is we're just making up um, a paste that we're going to use to stick our sugar paste down. So we're going to do a combination of some royal icing and some, um, some royal icing and some sugar paste. So we'll do our sugar paste ones first. It doesn't matter whether you put the whitener in before or after, it really doesn't um, make any difference, to be honest. I won't worry about that. Just pop it in at some point. Probably easier to do it afterwards, to be perfectly honest. It only does this after about 24 hours, and then it just goes sort of a yellowy colour. It's not drastic, drastically yellow, but if you hold it next to a piece of white paper, then you will see that it is much more yellow. So, I've got some sugar paste, which I did dye up a little bit beforehand so I have got this paste here which is well I sort of dyed it up I was needing it before we went live um, this is Satinara again and it has been dyed up with Pro Gel Sky Blue so that's the colour that I'm using to start with and um, what we're going to do I've got notes everywhere if you saw my notes next to me <laughs> there is no whitener in my mix but you can add whitener if you want to okay it's entirely up to you. It depends what you were doing with it. If you're dyeing it a colour, then it doesn't matter. But if you want it to remain white, then you probably will need to put some in. Okay, right. I'm just going to put this down. The reason I put icing sugar down on this board is because I need these shapes to uh, move. Otherwise, if they don't move and they stick themselves to the board, then I'm going to lose the shape of the cookie. And I don't want that to happen. So let's start with some blue. So we're going to start with the travel the travel cup I say which is our I'm gonna have fun with this I love doing these I normally go into these lives not even thinking or planning I did actually yeah. plan this one <laughs> a little bit but then I'll go off piece you see I'll see something else I like and that'll be it I'll be going in a different direction you don't need to make this really thick sugar paste and in comparison to the cookie it's only a thin layer anyway so it doesn't matter all right, so don't make it too thick, but just make it thick enough so you're going to get a decent finish. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that back for a second and put some a little bit of extra icing sugar down so it's moving. 
There we go. I'll just give it a swish round. There you go. See, it's moving. It's very important. Right, we're going to take hold of our travel cup and we're going to use the whole thing actually tonight. So we'll press that down like so. Now, when you put it down, just make sure you give it a little twist. Can you hear that? That's just to make sure. Hopefully you get some clean edges. Not bad. I missed it a little bit on one side. Are we going to be doing any painting? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Mainly doing piping, sugar paste, cutting and sticking. So lots of design things tonight. But we might do some painting later on. You never know. Okay. So we're going to cut out a few of these. So put that one there. Got to be careful I don't end up squashing them because that's the most likely thing I'm going to be doing here. So press it down, move it up and down like that so it cuts through and then you get the nice clean edges. You've got to be careful with your shapes because you don't want to end up distorting them. Now before we end up getting them squashed, let's bring these cookies back in. Now we, before anybody asks, we do have a cookie recipe that we use. It is available on the website and we charge what it costs us to print it. And we have it on a lovely little laminated sheet. We call it Kelly's Cookie Recipe. And if you want you know, if you want it, it's a couple of pounds and it's laminated and it does, that's what we, it costs us to do. So um, that's why we charge for it. So we've just got um, some of the royal icing that we've made a minute ago in a paintbrush. Now I'm just going to put this on like this. Got a bit of a lump in the middle of that one, Kelly. Sorry. <laughs> uh, just... I did have to rush bake them. Though. You did have to rush. Do you them. know where the recipe card is, Mum? Uh, in the cookie section. Mm, it's definitely in there somewhere. Kelly will find it. Anyway, we're going to lift these on very carefully, Take that like so. In it's in the cookie section. Okay, we'll press that down like that. Okay, we'll pop that to one side so I don't knock it. And then we'll do these. So we've got a few different design ideas tonight for this one. Okay. There we go. So. I'm very sorry, I can't find the recipe card right now. I think Kelly's having a moment. It's not in the cookie section. Can you look in Let's Shop because that's open still. See if it's in there. Could be in that section. If not, you can take it from there. I'm sure it's in there. If not, we'll put it online afterwards, so don't worry. I know, unfortunately, our cookie recipe is so nice that uh, it does mean that sometimes you don't actually make it to the... Um, <laughs> don't make it to the decorating stage because you've eaten them. Okay, there we go. So in comparison to the um, cookie itself, that's the thickness of the sugar paste. So it's not very thick at all. That one's a bit twisted there. Right, we have got, let me just see how many more I've got to do. Uh, another one. So I've got a list here of what I've got to do. Found it? Yeah. Oh, we will find that Kelly afterwards. It must be somewhere. The side never found them. They've disappeared as well. We will find it for you if anybody's looking for it. It has vanished. Right, so let's do this one. So we need one more blue one. I'm just checking what I'm doing. I say I have got some notes, but that literally means nothing. Because <laughs> I always get halfway through and start changing my mind what I'm doing. So. There we go. Make sure it's moving. Remember that's very important. And then we're going to do one more. Okay. And then we're going to do the bottom half of this one. So this is the cupcake um, cookie cutter that we've got. Now this one comes in a set of three. So there's small, medium and large. I don't know if I've got the other sizes here, have I? Oh, I might have. There's the little one. That's the dinky one. And there's a medium one as well. I have, look at that. Okay, so we've, Kelly's obviously been on a baking mission. So we have got a cookie cutter that's three different sizes. This one is really sweet because you can cut a little bit out of it and attach it to a mug. That looks very nice. So that's the 3D cupcake one. We're going to just do the big one tonight. So let's move that over here. But I want to take this first. Okay, so I'm going to show you how nice, sort of quick and easy these can do. We're going to make lots of different designs. We're not going to take too long about each one. We're going to get on a bit of a roll eventually <laughs> when I stop talking. <laughs> right, 
Okay, let's put that down like so. Now the next thing I'm going to do with the cookie cutter with this one is I'm going to mark the top of this travel cup. So I'm going to take one of these, which is a plastic side scraper that we still can't manage to find on our website. And we're going to just mark it along there like that. Okay, so that gives it quite a nice finish as you can see. Let's move that over. Okay. Have I got that right? I nearly went the wrong way then. When really he went on a full of diagonal, Kelly. I know. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Okay. All right. That's that one. I've got several of these green um, boards here tonight because I'm going to have to move some of these out the way because I've got plans to do quite a few, you see. So we'll see how we go. Okay. So that then turns it into the travel cup because then you've got that, dis that lid. Do you know what I mean? That you get like um, well known coffee chain cups. That's what I'm trying to think of there. Okay. So that's that. And then we're going to do a bubble tea cup. Now. A bubble tea cup now. Kelly's got a job at a bubble tea shop. Yeah, I probably should, Kelly. Remind me. I've just had. Well, well my brain's just as bad as yours. I oh, know it is. That's the problem. Um, I've just had my first bubble tea. Did I pick up a cookie cutter for that? What for? The large cupcake. Can you find me one? Because I've. Oh god. Actually, they're over here. I thought I'd pick one up. Yeah, I, I put them in here. Oh, okay. You tied it up. No, this was like. Yesterday. That's the large one I need. Okay, that's okay. fine. Lovely. Okay, so we'll just put this on here. Press that one down there. There we go. We'll move that over there. Where's my trendy knife that I had out the other day? Right. Okay. So we're going to cut across like that, move that out of the way because it's sharp and then we just pop this on the bottom here like so and we'll pop that on the bottom there like that. Now we're going to mark it so it looks like a cupcake so I'm just going to take my um, plastic skyscraper, thank you Kelly, and we will just go across like so so that turns it into a into a cupcake into a cupcake case there we go a little bit off skew on the end there but that's okay we'll live with that and we'll put that at the bottom well they won't mind once they've eaten them at the hospital they really won't mind okay so that's that bit done now i'm going to move these out of the way because what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit more sugar pasting where's my other green board there it is and we're going to do the ice creams next. I kind of want to get all this out the way. What is bubble tea? Yeah, what is it, Margaret? That's a very good um, question, it actually. It is Chinese. Tastes like um, melted tutti frutties. So basically, it's just <laughs> uh, it's Chinese or Taiwanese tea, and you can get loads of like different flavors and stuff, and it's mixed with milk. It's not like normal English tea. It, imagine like you brew two tea bags and then add like half a pint of milk that's basically what and then chucked in a packet of sugar opal fruits yeah or for those starburst for those of a certain age yeah that's how i describe it that's what yeah. Ke kelly's just bought it's home. really nice though <laughs> right the color i've just added into this white sugar paste is called autumn leaf it's a sugar flare color it's a paste color and i'm just making up the bottom of these ice cream cones so we're going to make some ice cream cones as well so i'm just going to do the lower part of this ice cream and then we're going to flood and pipe the top half of this okay just in case you wonder what i'm doing are those um kelly can you just go and have a look and see if the beaters are in there just in case i need to whip this whipping it up because it looks like I might need to. Yeah, special Chinese tea, isn't it, Kelly? Yeah. Um, it it just tastes like um in the cupboard. Oh no, there's a bag. What I are bought, you looking for? Um, Is it beaters? Yeah, tea towel. It's in ah. that bag there. I've just bought a load downstairs. Yeah, it's special Chinese. Special tea. Chinese tea. Called And Kelly can speak some Mandarin, can't you, Kel? Uh huh. Look at who she's producing one really smart. Thank you. you, I know. What a clever mummy I am. Right. <laughs> okay, let's make this a little bit darker, shall we? Go down a bit darker. So we'll add a little bit more. You have to be a bit careful with paste colours. If you add too much too quickly, it can turn into a bit of a nightmare. So I don't really want that. I want it to be... Oh, it's getting very hot in here. I thought it was okay. No, I think it's probably me, but it's very warm down this end these lights I think right here we go 
So we're going to make the bottom of these ice creams. Again, I think I anticipated we'll be doing five or six. We'll see how we go. We'll get those set up next. These all come together very quickly once you've kind of done the groundwork, if that makes any sense. I'm using loads of icing sugar because it's hot. <laughs> we saw the size of the lights I have to sit in front of, you'll know why. It's very hot in here. Okay, so roll that out again. So we're going to, um, these are going to be half sugar paste and half royal icing, these ones. So we will come back to piping these later on. It's kind of once you start doing certain things, you can kind of go across the board very quickly. So this is our ice cream cookie cutter. Here it is. And the lovely Kelly, my assistant, has already made a few. Haven't you, Kel? So we'll do five. And then we're going to do with this. We just need to cut the bottom half out. We don't need to cut this bit out. We just want that bit. So I'm just going to line that up on here. Press that down. So it's not going to take too long. Move that there. So make sure you press down. Move it so it cuts like that. There we go. Right, let's get rid of that. And then we're going to get our ice cream here. And we're going to just paint the lower half of this. Not the top, just the lower half. And then before we get carried away, we're just going to cut these. Oh, look at that knife. I know, it's flash, isn't it? But I, I bought it from, bought it from somewhere. <laughs> I knew you'd see it. Let me put that out the way. It's very sharp. That's why it's remaining up here, Kelly, and not at home. Okay. Got a bit too much icing on that one. Never mind. Okay, let's do this one. Don't put too much on, then it doesn't make them too soft. There we go. Let's put that there. Stick that one on. Like so. And oh, let's cut that one back as well. So we're going to make these different, okay? So if you've ever kind of seen this kind of cookie thing before, by the time I finish with this lot, you'll be going, what? <laughs> so we're going for some really unusually decorated ones, I would say. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a Mr Whippy, which I happen to be a, oh. a massive fan of. Kelly and I are big fans of... Mum is obsessed. Mr. The other day, did you have one for breakfast? No, I did not. You just told a lie. I did yeah, not yeah, do you that. Did. You went to Henley. At like nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's not breakfast. I'd had my breakfast, so this was like mid-morning snack, I would describe oh. it as, on a Sunday. That's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not breakfast. I didn't have it instead of breakfast. Right, okay. Love I'm a good Mr Whippy. It. Right, I'm going to be testing out the Mr Whippies in Brighton this week. So I'm going <gasps> down there. I forgot about that. I'm going down on Thursday. So Kelly's having a party, aren't you, Cal? Yeah. my house, house better be standing it's not those two people yeah exactly my house better be standing when i get back yeah. okay so a little bit more there right now similar whoop, let's pop that on similar to the travel cup we're going to use the plastic side scraper again because it's got quite a nice thick edge on it and it makes a very nice waffle pattern so let's take that out of the way so i've got a bit of room there we go and then all I'm going to do is literally press that down. So it gives you a thicker edge than if you do it with a knife. If you do it with a knife, you get um, a much thinner edge, whereas I think this gives you a bit more realistic waffle effect. Would you agree, Kelly? Yeah. Good. Okay, and then we'll go this way as well. You see what I mean? It's ice cream season, so I think we might as well do ice creams. So they're fairly quick to do. Now you could do these with royal icing, you could flood them. If you're going to do that, you've got to leave them overnight. And that's one of the problems with doing lives with um, all royal icing, is it has to be left to dry. So I make lots of videos on cookies. I've got TikTok now, I've discovered, haven't I? And I've been making a few on there, but they are made over several days. They're not something that I make within sort of an hour. I wish they were. Um, so 
if you're doing cookie decorating, you kind of need to set up a little bit of a station so that you can keep coming back to it. Otherwise you won't get it finished because it will be um, waiting for it to dry all the time if you're doing all royal icing. So this is a combination. So we can finish these live tonight. That's why we're doing it like this. So we're doing half sugar paste and half royal icing. There we go. So we've got those sorted there. Okay, what else is on my little list? Let me just double check what I'm doing. Right, let's do the last bit of sugar paste. I'm just going to pop these over here. We're going to look at this last cutter. So then we've got all the sugar paste done and we can put it all away. And this one is called a mason jar. It looks like a loaf of bread. Kelly and I decided the other day or a slice of bread. So we have got this one as well. So we've got a few ideas for this. So I'll give that a bit of a knead here. Now we're just going to cover these in white, so we're not going to do anything too complicated. Is Nikki on tonight? Is she? Yeah. We've got bees, Nikki, for you tonight. I know Nikki likes bees, so I've got a new sheet with some bees on it. She'll be pleased about that. When the question, any suggestions on getting a sharp cookie as they're very soft, does that mean like... A sharp cookie is that like it breaks easier or like the edges are too soft okay because if it's um you want them harder roll them out thinner and put them in the oven for the same amount of time maybe a bit longer and if you want the shape to be sharper halfway through cooking maybe like five minutes in take the cutter that you used and press it over the top and remove the outsides there you go. Top tips from Kelly, the baker. The Hello Kitty cutters have arrived, so we're sending those out tomorrow. I will show you what we did with those. There's a nice, again, there's a nice little video on those. So we're going to take hold of this mason jar, which we actually used to put flowers in, and then now it's turned or morphed into a jam jar ever since. So that's what we're going to be using it for tonight. We've got a couple of different ideas with that that we haven't done before so let's remove those so this one looks like this when it's baked and very similar Ooh, there's icing going everywhere we're just going to paint this on here so this is our glue that's holding it all together can use piping gel on this by the way but um piping gel doesn't set so you always run the risk of things falling off um, that's why i tend to use royal icing I prefer it. I want to know that what I've stuck down is not going anywhere. Look, oh, Maureen's got another tip there. Look. Yeah, that's what I meant. Me and Mo are on the same wavelength. On the same wavelength with your cookies. Okay. This one's spread a bit. That's probably because I made it. I think I made it. Or did you make this one? Right, we'll do one more of these and then we're done on that and then we've done all our sugar pasting and then we can start putting them all together i've got to keep my eye on the time a bit conscious of time tonight i want to get kelly cutting things out if we need to yes we? i love cutting things out i know you do did you get the scissors yeah well i found a pair of scissors there must be another pair somewhere Have you there's about five pairs in your tray uh, what do you mean my tray? You mean my little pot? No, I haven't. You could check that. As long as you don't knock everything over. There we go. Right, that's our last one. So that's all the sugar paste being finished for now. Yeah, you can move that because I'm done with that. Oh no, I need one back. Can you yeah, pass... no, I'm just getting the scissors. Can, can you just pass me a, a mason jar? Just one. I'm just giving it to you. You're giving me the whole thing back. Okay, that's fine. Can I have one? Yeah, have a dodgy one. <laughs> um, no, the royal icing doesn't seem to make them soggy, no. Just don't use too much. Yeah, just less is more. When you're putting this down like I'm doing it, if you look at it, I'm not plastering it to death. I'm literally just making it so it's a little bit tacky. Um, one of the mistakes lots of beginners make with things like sugar glue as well is they pile on too much. They think they've got to put on buckets of sugar glue for it to set. Well, royal icing can be the same if you're not careful and you just chuck it all on there. Um, you can end up with a bit of a problem. So that's kind of what we're saying. Right, everything is done. Um, the other cookies that I made, now I made these... <coughs> 
sorry, can, well, I told you how to make them. Can I just point that out? I've also made little donuts here. Now I made these using this cutter here. So this is a two inch round cutter. And then all we did was we took one of these nozzles. This is a, um, a PME2 actually. And I just, we cut it out in the middle. Did you cut it out again halfway through baking or did you just no. continue your eyes what I did? So when you roll these out, um, cut it out with this and then cut out the center and then bake them so we've ended up with these little donut ones as well which we're going to flood with royal icing um, now so we'll do that next so let's get organized for that let me move a few things out of the way so I'm going to move that back a little bit it's like a military operation there right let's get rid of that so that's our sticking royal icing, so we don't want that. We need something. Oh, actually, though, we could carry on using that. I never thought of that. Let's add a bit more into there. So what we're going to be doing is creating like a flooding icing. So we're going to take out whipping it up, which is running away from me at the moment. Let me try and catch it. There we go. Put that in there like so. There we go. Take that out. And we're going to add some more water. So we're going to pop a little bit more water in there, but we're going to do this quite carefully. Take our palette knife and we're going to start swirling our icing around. And what we're looking for is um, a counting consistency of approximately 12 to 15 seconds. Okay, for this, for what we're trying to do tonight. My royal icers have probably been told different things because of what we were doing on royal icing. But for this particular project, 12 to 15 seconds. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. Hope I've got enough. Not, I will have to do another cookie live until we've got it all complete, won't I? <laughs> okay, so what does that mean? It means that when I pull my palette knife through the mix and I count... I should be able to get to 15 seconds. By the time I get to 15 seconds, it should the line in the middle should have completely disappeared. So let's give this a go and see where we are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not far off. I'm very confused. What was just going on? So I was writing a message and I just look up and you're just looking I'm counting. into a bowl of icing. I'm counting. counting. Right, I'm just going to put a tiny drop more in. So what we're going to do, we are doing um, flooding consistency, Kelly. So what we're doing is we're going to pull the palette knife through and we're going to count. Anything between 12 and 15 seconds what we're doing. So there we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There you go, the line has disappeared. So that's the consistency we want. We're going to do one more check because if you get it wrong, it's an absolute pain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I reckon that's about right. I think that'll be fine. Right, we're going to add, I'm going to put a little bit of blue in there tonight, I think. Blue everything. Well, I've got blue on there, you see, and I was kind of hoping these might actually look like they belong together, but who knows. So I'm going to use a little bit of, of this gel. So this is a little bit of sky blue. I don't really want that much, to be honest. I'm just going to put, that still looks like too much, but never mind. <laughs> Typically, I'm gonna have donuts that are gonna look bright blue, like American ones. Like yeah. American ones, yeah, like the ones when you go. We used to go in. Um, God, do you Walmart. remember Walmart? We went in Walmart. And I was just like, why is all their food like luminous? It's like when you order a Fanta. I remember taking off the lid and being like, oh god. I know, very, it's very bright, bright food colouring. So we don't really, I don't really want it that bright. And I think I've rescued the situation, so we're okay. We're going to give it a good old mix. I scribe it behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I want that. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, I knew I'd put it there somewhere. You need it. Not yet. I will do in a second. Okay. There we go. Got like a pale blue colour there. That looks all right. Happy with that. 
Right, okay, so we're going to put that into an icing bag. Um, I'm just going to get my scriber, which Kelly says she can see. There it is. So if you're doing cookie flooding, a scriber is very helpful. So I would strongly recommend you get one. Um, let's get some piping bags. Okay, I've got a new lot tonight, so I need to get myself organised. Of course, I never open the new packets when I'm live. <laughs> yeah, bright pink and blue ones from Walmart. It was the cupcakes, I think, that got us, wasn't it? Do you remember? No, for me, it was the ice pops because we bought like 80 ice pops for like $2. God, they tasted like toxic waste and Dad used to force feed me 12 every day. Yeah, not me. So my <laughs> okay, right, so we've got our... Uh, this is my third hand here that I grew as a mug. So I'm going to just pop my blue icing in there. Let's get that out of the way so it doesn't dry out. Got a couple more things to do before we put our blue icing onto our cookies. We're going to start looking at some of the cake toppers that we've got. Remember what I said to you tonight. If you want to buy any cake toppers, they are 10% off on my website, but you must put the code in cake topper. Is that in capitals? In capitals, yeah. So cake no space. No space. Cake topper. All right. And then you'll get 10% mm -hmm. off. And that offers on till Monday the 14th of June. All right. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do the donut ones first, actually. We could get those done. Let's bring those forward. Uh, we're going to move that back. So any of the uh, toppers we haven't got to the toppers yet we're still on cookie cutters at the minute so it's the discounts are on the um toppers but we haven't got there yet oh, God, really don't. that's fine okay some people know what they are anyway but that's all right so we've got our bag here i usually have a cup next to me just so i can put it in there otherwise it ends up all over the place and we're going to make these into very nice little donuts so we're going to just take hold of this um piping bag we're just going to cut the end off there now I might need to cut it off a tiny bit more. I'd rather cut it off bit by bit than mess this up. So we're going to take hold of it. And am I on screen? Okay, yeah. And then we're just going to go backwards and forwards like this. So you could make lots of pastel coloured ones. So I normally go around the donut like this. Okay. These look really nice on the sort of drip cakes, that kind of thing. Do one at a time, so we just stand it back up in there and we take hold of our um, scribing tool. And then, if we go round, we can kind of push this out to the edge. It doesn't have to be neat because it's a donut, but you can take your scribing tool and move it out there. And you see it all starting to spread. Now, the key to this is making sure that the icing isn't so runny that it runs straight off the edge. Now, I suppose it doesn't matter particularly with a donut, but um, we want to try and keep it on the donut if we can. Might run a little bit, but you never know, we might be okay. And then before it dries, you want to add in any sprinkles or anything else that you want to put in there um, before that happens. So let's do that. <laughs> What's she on about toxic waste? Oh, because I said they taste like toxic waste. What does? Um, the lollies that I had in America, Mo said, stop over exaggerating. Oh, they were bad. Yeah, they were bad. Right, so we're going to put some little stars on this one. So I've got some little star sprinkles here. So we'll pop those on. Now you have to do these before they dry. Otherwise, you've got to, you can do them after you dry, but it's much more of a faff than it is beforehand. So let's do them now. Okay, all right. So that's that one. Let's put that over there to one side. Let's just get crack on with the next one. So again, all you need to do is just take your... So this is very easy. So if you don't own any cookie cutters, and you can find yourself a round cutter, two sizes. Remember, I used a two-inch round cutter, which is actually one um, we use on our site anyway. And then just a piping nozzle, which was a little bit smaller. And then all I did was just made some little round cookies. So it doesn't, you don't need special cutters for this bit. All right, so you can just do whatever you like. So we'll just put zhush that around a little bit. Push it out as far as the edge as you want it to be. You can have it running down the sides if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But the key to this is the consistency. If the consistency is wrong, it's going to roll off and it will roll off. Make no mistake, it will fall off. Right, let's put some different sprinkles on now. Let's try these ones. 
So we'll pop those on next. So stick those on. There we go. You get, oh, well, I get into this in a big way. I start getting my designer head starts going on then. I can make all sorts of things. Let's move that over there. Okay. Right, next one. Again, just round we go. Now, because we're going to be quite short of time tonight, I'm probably just going to do three different sprinkle ones. See how we go time-wise, but I think we're going to run out if I don't speed up a bit, so we won't get everything done. But we'll come back and do another one on cookies because they are so nice and there's so many different things you can actually do with them. So we'll just do three. Take that down a bit into the middle. Like so. You don't want them to be completely circular and neat anyway because they're donuts. They're meant to be a little bit. That one's leaked into the middle a little bit there. So we can always just take our scriber, run that round. Like so. So if you get a little leak, just do that. Go round and just remove it like that. There you go. That'll dry like that. Okay. Let's put in some of these confetti sprinkles. We've got some slightly different ones here. So we'll pop those on. They're nice and shiny, aren't they? Because they, they're obviously royal icing. So we would leave those to dry overnight once they're done. Does Carol have a donut maker? Trying to... No, I don't think so. Oh. She no. should get on that. Yeah. These are nice and easy to do. There you go. Look how simple they are. They're very pretty. Cute. I know, they are cute. I did make some in lilac the other day, which I will show you now. Okay, so there's some pink versions or lilac versions of those. So again, you can make lots of different pastel or strong colours if that's the kind of thing you like to do. You don't have to make them all completely plain. Um, right, so what else was I about to do? See, this one is still leaking, but the others are okay. It's probably because I put too much on that one. There you go. Just scoop it out while it's still drying and it will be fine. There we go. Okay, so that's the donuts. Now... Let's have a look at doing an ice cream in the same way. And we're going to flood it coming down here. So I'm gonna move those over there so I don't get in a muddle. So let's take the same icing and we'll do a couple like this. So we'll start on here and we'll go close to the edge but not completely to the edge around the bottom. And then we're going to just kind of, looks like it's dripping onto the cone itself so we're just going to run it down like so and then we'll go back and we'll fill this okay should I do the background noise like it's on TikTok <laughs> no <laughs> you're going to sing for me are you back it up, back it up. and then we'll go round with our scriber and we will push the icing out to the edge so we're kind of just guiding it out there so this is the ice cream cookie cutter that we've got, that we've had made. Now, I just want to say one thing about these cookie cutters as well. Please don't put them in the dishwasher because they will not survive. All right, just keep them, um, wash them very carefully with a bit of hot water. All right, there we go. So you can push that out as far as you like. You can do whatever colours you like. So if you want to do like a mink... It should be a bubble gum ice cream. Yeah, you could do like That's a... That's the one I always used to get. That's I cute. know you did. You could do like a mint green colour. Go. Will this set hard, someone asked. Yeah. But not so hard that it will be, you know, cracking your teeth or anything like that. There we go. I'll pop some sprinkles on top. Like that. How much fun is that? There you go. Look at that. Okay, got a few more on and we're there now, aren't we? All right, so that's how you do the ice cream one. So that's nice and easy and straightforward, isn't it? And again, you just leave it to dry and then um, pick it up from there. Um, what else was going through my mind with this? Oh yes, I know. So what else we can do? We can also decorate it with some of our cake toppers. So let's have a little look at some of the cake toppers that we've got now. We've got a new sheet out tonight. Everybody knows about my, well, lots of people know about my addiction to uh, <laughs> cake toppers. Here we go. So we've got a new one out tonight and this one is called Happy Fruit. 
<laughs> so this is an A4 sheet of uh, little fruit faces. I do like this kind of, and Kelly's going to tell me off because I get the name wrong. Kawaii, have yeah. I said it right now? <laughs> Kawaii, yes. Kawaii. Kawaii, thank you. Uh, little fruit faces, which I think are really sweet and would work really, really well in some of these cookies. So what we're going to do, they're totally edible. We're going to cut one out and we're going to put one onto... So which one would you like on the icing, Kelly? Or the... Um, Pick, please. On the um, yellow lemon like slice. The orange slice. No, lemon. The yellow. lemon one. You want the lemon one. I think it would do. That's difficult. It's in the middle, isn't it? Okay, so we'll cut that one out. Do so. you want the smaller scissors? Uh, yeah, I may need the smaller scissors. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so all you do is just pick whichever one it is that you want to use. I'm trying not to get it on the ice cream at the moment. Let me just cut it out of the sheet. And then we've got it. I will probably need to cut more out, Kelly, yeah. Okay. You can cut some out, yeah. Any preference? Well, do um, the watermelon. Strawberry. And a strawberry, yeah, do those two. Okay. So all you do is then take your scissors and cut them out. These nice little shapes, they're just fun. Just make sure you don't get any water on them because if you get any water on them, um, the pattern will come off. So it's really important you don't actually get water on top because it's food colouring. Okay, so we're just going to cut around these. Nice little activity to do at the weekend if you want to do a little bit of um, cookie decorating. If you're not very good at pudding, mm -hmm. Would you do a thicker royal icing and then do the outline before flooding it? You can do, yeah, but this is very quick. This is quicker to do it this way. It's not difficult. It's just about getting your rations right or getting your ratios right, not your rations. rations. What am I on about? Okay, so I've just peeled off the backing on there. Did you see that? Okay, I'm just going to pop that there. And then because I noticed I did that before I did this, and that's because I need to be organised. Because if I do this icing and then and go straight to this and it's not ready i'm going to have a problem okay so we're going to do these i don't now the fruit faces um are part of the cupcake topper section that we've got on the website now they are on 10 percent off tonight as long as you use that code all right so you must put that code cake topper in and then it will default to 10 percent off on all the cake toppers tonight okay it's very important you use that code Otherwise, you'll have to do it again because I won't be able to get my calculator out. It'll take me too long. <laughs> All right, so we'll go across here. Now, I did have another one of these, which I did. Oh, we might be able to get two on here, Kelly, you know. I've, got, I've cut out a strawberry if you want it. Yeah, because it's quite big, this one. I think it might have spread during baking. Oh. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a whirl. You don't necessarily need to outline. This is what I think we're trying to say. And actually, you get a better finish sometimes if you don't. Um, as long as you get your consistencies right, if you notice, I mean, apart from that one there, which I think I probably just put too much icing on, the icing's generally sort of staying in place, it's behaving itself, which means I've got my consistency right. Um, and if you just make sure you don't cheat when you're counting, then you should be absolutely fine. Yeah, this is whipping it up. Did oh, you? did you need them? Um, I've done them. You've done them, okay. So what we're going to do is we'll just put some more little sprinkles on there. Okay. Which one are you giving me? I gave you two. Oh, lovely. Which one would you prefer? Mm. We'll do the strawberry. So there's our little lemon. So we're going to put this on while it's still wet. Then. Um, No, not that one. Then while it's still wet, we're going to pop that down like so. Just rest it on top. And then I normally just take my scriber and just make sure it's actually sitting in the icing. OK, which it is. And that's it fixed in place now. So I don't need to do anything else. It's just going to sit there. I've also got a little strawberry here, which we'll do as well. Why not? We'll go for it, shall we? Okay. We'll take... Oh, it looks so cute. Yeah, it is a bit cute, doesn't it? You like my fruit faces. And then we'll pop that one up there as well. So you can put one or two on here. I think, I'm not sure how many are on a sheet. There's quite a lot. Should I count? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. So what's that? 24. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yeah. 24 fruit faces on a... On a um, on a sheet let's press that down it's 33 on a sheet 33 on a sheet <laughs> oh how do i manage that to get that wrong okay all right 33 on a sheet so whipping it up i used a 500 gram bag with 70 grams of water there we go okay there you go you see they're fun aren't they you can have a right game with these so that's another option for you so we had uh i did another one at the weekend let me get that one as well 
So we have another sheet called Smiling Cherries, of all things. Smiley. Smiley cherries, even. Okay, so that one I did at the weekend as well. So there you go. So that's the kind of thing you can do. That is... Um, where's that sheet gone? It's here somewhere. I've got sheets galore next to me. Here it is. So this one is called Smiling Cherries. And again, it looks like that. It's on an A4 sheet and you just cut out the pieces that you want to use. So that's how you would go ahead and use those. So there we go. We've got a nice little selection so far. Let's just move that out of the way. Now, what I want to establish is the whipping it up. Is it going to hold its shape? So we're going to just quickly whiz it with a food mixer. I should have got you to do that, Kelly. Shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So because the whipping it up's been uh, made at the weekend, I'm just going to zhush it up a bit with my electric whisk. I'm just going to push that down there a second. I'm juggling. I've got stuff everywhere. Right. That's, might actually help if I plug it in as well. That sounds about right. Oh no, I've plugged it in. Okay, so we're just whiz whizzing this at the moment. I'm not sure. That's fine. No, I can see everything. So just in case you can see what's going on. So if you've made whipping it up and you made it a couple of days ago and then you want to pipe with it and you want it to hold its shape, then you need to remix it just like I'm doing now. Otherwise, it will collapse and then it won't hold its shape. So if you can see now it's holding its shape versus what it was a minute ago. I'm just going to go one more. unknown reason sometimes if it doesn't hold its shape at all um, you can always add in a tablespoon of, of extra icing sugar okay but I find it's usually okay when I've uh, whisked it I don't usually find there's too much of a problem with it but just occasionally if you're finding it's not holding its shape like this then just do that so all I'm going to do is set up another piping bag which I'm going to do now so I've just cut the end off there and I'm going to take hold of one of these adapters which I'm going to push into there I'm going to pop this nozzle on the top which is Wilton 18 what time is it oh my goodness where's the time gone I don't know if I'm going to get all this finished you have to do a follow-up I'm going to have to do a follow-up next week <laughs> cookies part two I don't think I'm going to get all this done don't rush we can is all... the code in capitals and in one word yes 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 should be I have written it, but I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, it is. So the code is cup cake, cake top toppers. Word. Thank you. Oh, again. with an S. Cake topper. Cake topper. The singular one. Yeah, cake topper. Cake toppers. I don't know, you've thrown me now. I don't say that. Well, if you put cake topper and it's wrong, it will just chuck it out. So. Okay, if it's not cake topper, <laughs> it's cake toppers. Oh, for goodness sake. With an S. Right, let's move that out of the way. Right, okay. Did you cut me any more? Oh, you cut me a watermelon out. Do you want any more? Yeah, I think I'll have another uh, another two. Right, so we're going to continue now with these. What we're going to do here, apart from the fact I'm now wearing royal icing, which is definitely not something I want to be doing on a live. Let me grab some kitchen roll. I'm trying to remain tidy. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to take hold of this and we're just going to swirl this. This is Mr Whippy at its best. So we're going to swirl this around. Look at that. So you can also make your, you've got flavoured whipping it up here. So that adds to your cookies as well, because these are vanilla cookies. And then we're using velvet vanilla um, royal icing. So we'll nip across these. So this is Wilton 18 nozzle. I have linked it as well. Okay. 
so we'll go across there like that I'm going to speed up a little bit purely because we are running out of time and it's just because there's another live on directly after me so I've got to be off on time and then one of them and again we can just put our sprinkles on straight away like so we'll do that on both of those and then we've got our little got this one here from the what have i called this happy fruits yeah, I think so. okay so happy fruits here we go let's peel this back right and then that has got to go we'll put that on there shall we well, he's upside down actually his face is that way around so he's got to go that way around because he's smiling upside down okay so we'll put him on there what else have you got me oh a pineapple Okay, so we've got a little pie. Someone says loving this. Oh, Jackie <laughs> says loving this, same again next week. I think it might have to be. I don't know if we're going to get through everything, but it doesn't matter. We will finish this another time, so it's not a problem. Would you need any more? Something? No, that's fine. We'll put the pineapple in the middle there like that. Look, these are fun, aren't they? And then we'll just do that watermelon one there. Actually, I might get you to cut the other circle ones out in a second. But I'll show you the sheet first and then I'll pass it over to you. Does that do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that that watermelon? Yeah. Oops. It's the I don't know. I'll find it in it's a, a second. Line. Okay. Oops. Sorry, my bag's under the camera, isn't it? Right. There we go. I'm trying to pick this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just swirling it. It's just little rosettes. Around we go. So remember, this is royal icing, so it's going to set. It's not like buttercream, which will remain soft. And and let's do some different sprinkles on this one. So let's put these ones on. Okay. Put those fun ones. Oh, I don't know if you want that. What are they? Oh no, I don't want those ones. I want some different oh, ones. Blueberries. All right, I'll put the blueberries no, on. You don't have to. Well, no, if it keeps you no, happy, fine. Kelly, I'll do it. Right. So we've got little blueberries now going on this one, and then also a little. There we go. We'll put that one on there. Wilton, uh, uh, Wilton sixteen work. Yeah. Wilton sixteen is is just a little bit smaller, but that's fine. Any star nozzle. The one M is too big, okay. So that's too big. That one. There we go. How about that? So cute. You're pleased with those, aren't you? You're hovering. You yeah, only ever sorry. hover when you love things. I know I that. I am actually quite tight though, but I am hovering. You're hovering because you like these. Kelly does this thing. If you on... ever want to put depth in there, you can put a nice brown in there. Yeah, you could always paint and do bits and pieces in there. There we go. Let's bring this down here a bit so you can see all of these while I attempt to juggle and get. <laughs> and get the travel cups back that's where kelly you might need to start cutting oh no i think we'll be okay that's these ones can you cut out um let me just cut this sheet in half so we can show everybody what we've got here can you cut out that one mm. and that one those two there okay so those are all theirs there we go that's what we've done so far they're cute aren't they Ooh. now we're going to look at the travel cups now oh no actually we haven't finished the cupcake actually, I picked Let's, let's do the cupcake. No, don't pick the different one. I want the ones it that... It says take a latte break. Yeah, but I want those donut ones. Yeah, but the latte is... Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> so, Kelly, <laughs> this is the cupcake one, which I forgot then. So we'll just do this one now. So again, similar as, as the Mr Whippy. So round we go. I keep calling everything Mr Whippy, but it's not. We know what I mean. You don't, want to flood. you don't want these to be flat. There's no point in flooding this. We don't want them flat. We want them like this. There you go. Don't forget these are in three sizes. I'm just going to put that down, actually, because the icing's coming out the other end of the bag, which is not very helpful. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's move that to there. I think I definitely planned too much for this live. I think because I planned for two hours and we're on a shorter one tonight. I've thrown myself a little bit. There we go. And then we can just put some sprinkles over there. So there we go. We've got a nice cupcake one now. There. Okay. They're cool, aren't they? Right. I do want to do the travel cups. I'm determined to get those done. No, we're okay. Minutes. We've got 15 minutes, so we should Ooh, be okay. Right, you got 10. 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes. Right. Okay. Let's do the travel cups because I'm determined to get those done. Right, I'm going to move these out of the way. Just pop them over there. We'll take a photograph of them and I will put them on my Instagram and on Sugar and Crumbs so you can see them. Do you need another one? No, because um, they're not going to be 
all the same. Okay. That one we just dented, so I'll put that one back over there. Right, we're down to three, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we've got some new toppers here, as I said to you before. We have got this one here. This is very cute. This has got little tiny messages on it, so it's got love at first bite, so excited. Some really corny jokes here. I loaf you. Donut, do not girl, do not give up. <laughs> uh, butter together, take a latte break. Is that right, Kelly? I said that right? Latte break. Latte break. I guess it'd be like so I don't drink coffee, you see. Anyway, these are some of the new little toppers that we've got here. So we're going to just put one of them on here. I was going for the donut, so it actually matched um one of the donut next to it so i could put the two together so again i've cut the, them out as a circle now when we put these onto here we need to do this with water we need to be careful if we put too much water down it's going to end up all over the place so we're just going to put a little circle in the middle there like so and then we'll take hold of this and we'll just pop that down like that make sure it's got water all over it so we can just stick that onto our travel cup so then you could have that as a set you see you could have that and your sprinkles together. You could also attach um, some sprinkles if you want to. Now, I would recommend you change your piping nozzle because this one is going to be too big. So we just unscrew the adapter, take the nozzle off, pop this one on like that. Stars. And we'll put some stars on it. So let's have a look. So you can just put some little spots on there. There we go. And just put your stars on. You can spend hours doing this, honestly. I could get carried away. And trouble is, I'm quite fussy with these sprinkles, so I'll start going through and finding the ones I like. This is just icing sugar, so that will come off. There we go. So let's go for the blue ones, the blue and white ones. Are they coming out on screen okay, Kelly? I'm 10 seconds behind. You're 10 seconds behind. It's about supermarket with three R's and no two. Who did? Me. <laughs> okay, so... We don't spell supermarket with three R's, but we have done tonight. Oh, yeah, it's my typing on the iPad is so bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, there you go. So there's a nice little one there. It doesn't take very long to put together. We'll put another star there because that will annoy me otherwise. Okay, so that goes with our uh, let's that goes with our donut, doesn't it? Let me pick our donut up. See, look at those two together. That's quite a nice set, isn't it? If you wanted to do that, so let's move that over there. Put that one back now what else have i got planned for this right so we've got another sheet so that one there is the ones called i think they're called cute labels or something we have also got mermaids i love these okay so we have a whole sheet of mermaids so we're going to make a mermaid cup here because we've got a nice blue um, background so we're going to pick her and all we're going to do is we're going there to are smaller than Zara over there by the way Oh, well, we found them in the end, did we? I'm just going to put that down there. And what we're going to do is just see where she's going to sit. So if I put it like that, her arms are going to be chopped off a little bit, but that's okay. We don't mind. So if you imagine the travel cups there like that. So what you can do is you can take hold of an edible pen. So like I've got a black edible pen here. And then we'll just put that on there. And we'll start at the top and we'll just draw round like so to the top like that so that's the bit we're going to see i'm just going to take my plastic side scraper and just which has got icing all over it but never mind and we'll just draw uh shall i do that yeah we'll draw across that line there So we can make, you know those little cups that kids take to school? This is what this reminds me of. And I know Kelly's <laughs> laughing because I used to be a, a bit manic about this, didn't I? Well, what did you used to do when I used to go to school? You would buy me loads and loads of really nice cups and I wouldn't take one sip from them. No, she would bring her cup. I'm too busy. She was too busy at school and this beautiful little mermaid cup would come back full of everything I'd put in it all day. The only thing you would manage to eat just is a, sit in my bag. one thing out of your lunchbox because Madam Kelly wouldn't stop talking at lunchtime, you see. This is the problem. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Got things to do, people to see. things to do, people to see, haven't you? So we're going to just cut this out like so. There we go. All right. And down this side as well. Okay, I think I've just got a little bit of black on there, so we'll just chop that off. Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. 
Don't forget to use the promo code CAKE TOPPER, all one word in capital letters. Thank you, Kelly. Right. Or 10% off your cake toppers. So these are the cake toppers. These are what's on offer at the moment. I'm going to show you one more before I disappear because I told Nikki I was going to do bees. And I'm determined to fit the bee one in before I disappear. So I'm going to just paint that. And then again, just put your finger under there. I don't think we're going to do the mason jar ones tonight. We'll come back and do those next week. We'll do a cookie one next week as well. Okay, and then we can expand on these designs a little bit. It doesn't actually help that I can't get my finger under here because I'm under pressure. So that's peeled back like so. There we go. And then we'll pop that in there. Like that. And then we've got a cool mermaid cup. How cool is that? So cute. It's so cute. Okay, so that's her done. So there you go, that's nice. If you're doing a party and you've got a mermaid theme or something like that, we do princess ones and fairy ones as well. So there's nice little ones there. Right, let's see if we can fit this fine. Quick, 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 five minutes. Bumblebees for Nikki. <laughs> Wait, it's Nikki, right? Yep, then Nikki, we've got bumblebees for you. So we've got now a whole new sheet on bumblebees. So there's oh, one, two, three, oh, four, five, oh, six, oh, 18 oh. bees on a sheet. I also went for ones that have got um a little plaque on there should we write nikki's name on one That'd yeah be fun. okay nikki we're going to do this for you here so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut a select a bee and that's the other thing with this as well you can once you've sort of cut a bee off you can put your, your um sheet back in its plastic packet that we send it to you in and just make sure you keep it sealed all right it's really important you keep it sealed okay so we're going to cut around the bee we're not going to get too close to the bee i'm going to cut a little bit away Jackie from it says, could watch you all night in brackets please lol i know i'm sorry i know i've got to go Where this is evening Nikki as well she, Nikki, you still here she's vanished okay oh no she is here and she's back is she okay so we're going to cut around the bee am i still on screen yeah just about yeah i think they've got some sort of um reveal or something tonight on sugar and crumbs so i've been asked to finish a bit earlier but unfortunately for me that just means my planning's kind of gone out the window a bit <laughs> and i'll carry on talking while i'm cutting this out just to remind people that i won't be back on thursday this week because i'm actually going away for a couple of days Woo! so kelly's got the house to herself so there we go right so i'm just going to take the icing sugar off there Okay, so you can peel that back again. So you've got your little bee there, like so. And just take some water. And I always put the water on the topper rather than on the back of the, um, on this itself, because it can disintegrate and just have to be a little bit careful. So we'll pop our bee there, like so. Where's my edible pen? Right. Nikki is here, she is present. <laughs> And then you see, now you see, Kelly, if this had been you in your lunchbox, I would have done this for sure. And she wouldn't have even noticed and probably eaten it. Okay, so we're now going to write on here an N. There we go, look at this. How about that? And then what we'll do is we'll do a little B trail like that as well. So you can customise these. You can have loads and loads of fun with this. It is so much fun. Um, I just love it. I could honestly, I could cookie decorate for hours on end. I'm sorry we're not going to get through everything tonight, purely because we are, uh, we do have to leave sugar and crumbs early today so that you can fit in an extra live. Um, I'm just going to bring some of these other bits down here so you can see what we've managed to get done. And we will come back next tuesday and we will continue and we will do some more cookie decorating because i think it's been quite a fun evening and i think you can all see the potential but just remember <laughs> they are on offer at the moment till monday maybe we'll make it till tuesday so that when you see us again that you can have a little Nikki look says she, loves it. she loves it does she where is it there you go i'm bringing a selection in so you can have a look at what we've done tonight and then, as I say, we will endeavour to put these onto Instagram so you can have a little look at them. There we go. How about that? A nice little selection of cookies that you can make. They're very quick. They're not too difficult to make. 
Um, you just need the, some cookie cutters. I'm sorry we didn't get to do the mason jar ones, but we will come back to those. We'll do those next week. So we'll continue with this next week, more cookie ideas. We'll probably end up even using the same cookies as well. And um, does Maureen want one now? <laughs> No, they're saying that Mo, should, Mo and Nikki should come to my party. Oh, right. OK, that's fine. <laughs> but just think, I'm going to hold this one up just so everybody can see exactly what you can do with this. So if you want to customise this one, for example, you just write with an edible pen and then you've literally got that little line down there at the bottom. So they are really easy to do. They're really, really straightforward and sweet. Um, the, it's not the cutters that are on offer. It's the it's the toppers. So it's this that's on offer. OK, we've had them on offer since the weekend. So it's any of the cupcake toppers. We've got an entire section on our website um, that are dedicated to cupcake toppers. Well, I'm obsessed with them completely, almost as badly as the, um, the, co the cookie cutters themselves. So pop over and have a look and you'll see. But I will come back again next week on Tuesday and we will continue with this and we will make this um, part, uh, one. part two <laughs> cookie cutters part two yes I'm sorry we've got to leave a bit earlier tonight but we will come back so that you can um, we can carry on expanding our little designs you can see I'm slightly obsessed with the same thing at the moment it's all this cute stuff isn't it I do quite like it um, if you need any further information the website's up there at the moment traceyscakes.co.uk uh, so stay tuned because it is going to continue sugar and crumbs you'll see me go disappear and then they'll start another live and you can see what else they've got lined up for you this evening but thank you very much for joining me i will be back next tuesday at half past six i won't be here on thursday so please don't tune in and i won't be on saturday morning this week either so i will see you i was wondering what you were doing then kelly um i will see you next tuesday have a lovely evening and take care bye for now bye